Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms. I'm Dan. During the Chapter 11 episode of The Mandalorian, titled The Eris, our protagonist, Din Djarin, crossed paths with several other Mandalorians, most notably Bo-Katan Kryze. During their meeting, Bo-Katan and the other Mandalorians with her removed their helmet to Din's shock and admonishment. This led to Bo-Katan explaining that Din was a child of the Watch. But who exactly were the children of the Watch, and what did it mean to be a child of the Watch? Let's discuss what exactly we know about the children of the Watch at this point. Although unnamed at the time, the Children of the Watch were first introduced in Chapter 1 of The Mandalorian on November 12, 2019. During Chapter 11, Bo-Katan explained to Din that the Children of the Watch were a Mandalorian cult of religious zealots that followed the way of the Mandalore, which was their religious doctrine that mandated protecting fellow Mandalorians, wearing their helmet at all times, and, according to the armorer, acting as both hunter and prey. If a Child of the Watch removed their helmet in front of another living being, whether it be by force or willingly, they were no longer permitted to wear it. Furthermore, Mandalorians who adhered to the way of the Mandalore would state this is the way when following its ideals. Children of the Watch also adopted orphans or abandoned children of various species as foundlings who were then raised and trained in the way and the Mandalorian form of combat. Children of the Watch such as Din Djarin would be trained in the Fighting Corps which was a subgroup of the cult. The covert of Mandalorians that Din interacted with on Navarro in Season 1 followed the ways of of the Children of the Watch cult. This covert, also known as the Tribe, was led by their matriarch, the Armorer, who would instill the various ways and mandates that the Children of the Watch had to adhere to. Although it hasn't been officially stated, we can infer that the Children of the Watch was born from Death Watch, which was a Mandalorian terrorist group during the days of the Clone Wars, which Bo-Katan was actually a member of at one point. In the Season 1, Chapter 8 episode, it was revealed that Din was rescued on Aquatina by members of Death Watch, as Death Watch Watch symbols can be seen on the armor worn by the Mandalorians who fought off the droid army and rescued Din. With that said, it's still unclear how, when, or why the Children of the Watch were created. Most likely, the Children of the Watch probably began following the events of the Great Purge, which was an event where the Empire killed most of the Mandalorian people and took a large amount of Beskar. And, if they did in fact stem from Death Watch, they appear to have adopted beliefs that are potentially more hardlined and radical than their predecessors. Predecessors. When Bo-Katan and her fellow Mandalorians encountered Din, they were clearly not too excited by the fact that Din was a child of the Watch, so we can assume the Children of the Watch were not held in the highest regard amongst Mandalorians. Din initially claimed that Bo-Katan, Koska Reeves, and Axe Woves were not true Mandalorians for removing their helmet, which prompted Bo-Katan to explain that the Children of the Watch were a cult. Din was extremely unaware of this, instead believing that all Mandalorians were like him and the tribe. As Season 2 of The Mandalorian unfolds, we may learn more about the Children of the Watch and their inception. It will also be interesting to see how Din will change now that he has learned that the way of the Mandalore is not the only way to live as a Mandalorian. But what are your thoughts on the Children of the Watch? And how do you think Din will change now that he has learned that the way of the Mandalore is not the only way to live as a Mandalorian? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe and stay nerdy.